Hey guys, Stiebler. Today I got an early look at the Jean Bart for you. It's the Tier 7 French Premium Battleship. Sister ship to the Richelieu. It's currently the campaign reward ship that's going on through probably early February would be my guess. I think it's a six week campaign. Uh, here, or earlier, you just saw the JoJo build I got. I like to show the build that I play. I'm planning on putting on that Gwei Pratt guy on this ship and uh, the Richelieu and the Dunkirk here. That's coming up with a, within about a month of um, my promotion orders schedule. So once I re-earn the Richelieu, or I'm sorry, the John Bart, you know, the community contributors get this ship for a week, then they take it away and we have to grind it out. So by the time I get it, you know, the same time you guys will all be getting it. I'll have that Gwei Prot build, and we'll re-examine the ship, because I think that'll be a very strong uh, build here. Statistic-wise, the Jean Bard compared to the Richelieu, pretty similar. Most of the the toss-ups go to the Jean Bard. Uh, more health, quite a bit. Uh, 69,000 compared to, like, 63 and change for the Richelieu. You know, similar range, just a 0.1 kilometer further to the Richelieu. Uh, reload times about three and a half seconds faster on this ship and we'll see the reload boost here in a sec you know damage characteristics the same reach lose about a uh, nine and a half faster you know this ship's slightly more stealthy the other one's got a slightly better rudder shift so I mean they're very similar here and here Iowa I don't notice that I have HE chamber that was left over from the round before this. I was fighting some destroyers, close range. Um, actually employing that reload boost. But you see I do pop it there a little bit early. I'm trying to get that AP loaded. Iowa drops spots. I mean, this is a very ineffective reload boost, so <laughs> that's kind of a good example of how to not use it. But very, very useful, not consumable at notice. Like, you know, you saw I had the HE loaded I was talking about fighting destroyers. Thus far, they're pretty unsuspecting, you know, maybe once people play the ship a little bit more, but if you have HE loaded and you fire off a salvo, get that AP or the reload boost going, you'll have another, you know, HE salvo chambered within, you know, it's like, it's like eight seconds, give or take. It's a short reload, so you can catch that destroyer out guard, pop them, you know, with that second HE salvo. That's usually enough to kill those destroyers, assuming they're close enough to, you know, hit the majority of the shots. <laughs> you guys are... So far, the gunnery in this game is suspect at best. Uh, but I do stay true to my word here. I do prefer to shoot Baltimore's. Even though we had a clear shot of that Turpitz, and it would have been nice potentially to get that kill. Um, I always advocate killing the radar ships first, and I try and practice what I preach for the most part. So even though they have killed one of our destroyers, which lessens the value of that radar cruiser, it still is a valuable piece, and it could potentially hurt our remaining destroyers' chances to stay alive. So now clearly I can't aim for shit, and that's turning into a bit of a problem. But, you know, at least I'm practicing what I'm preaching. So this is kind of a pos good position, I think, for this type of ship, where shots come in towards you from the front, highly ineffective, Shots coming into the side, extremely effective. So if you're tucked into an island like this, you're effectively taking 50% of the, you know, potential angles to really damage you. You're taking those away. You do need to keep an eye on the destroyers. You saw I did have that lightning uh, that was, I think it was about four kilometers away earlier on. I was trying to ping them for my team. None of them were really responding by shooting. But I did need to keep an eye on them and be aware that that's there. Especially if you accidentally pull out a little bit too far, then that can turn catastrophic pretty quickly. So, playing by the island like this, that's kind of the downside. The destroyer can sneak up undetected until they get very close range and potentially nuke you. So you do need to be paying attention to that. But, assuming you can deal with that problem, um, then you can effectively protect yourself quite a bit. So, I mean, Atlanta can sneak in a couple shots there. Atlanta, I know you're watching this video. <laughs> you know who you are. GG out there. Um, you know, but again, we're largely protected 
you know, from this position. So, uh, what's the deal with this campaign? I think Wargaming is listening to player feedback. Now, this campaign, in terms of the actual requirements, they look similar, you know, I've only looked at it briefly, but um, they look similar to the Gremiashi campaign, which is less grindy, you know, more... The missions are kind of simultaneously unlocked. The, this campaign, at least the ones, unless I'm misreading it, I think all the, there's like four different branches and they're all unlocked simultaneously. There's like an overarching one and then one that looked like it was probably going to be battleship, destroyer, cruiser. So, but, you know, it, at least they're all simultaneously unlocked. I'm 99% sure they got rid of the missions that say capture eight bases with you know, British destroyers or whatever that is. That's the most annoying, you know, mission on demand because you always get, you know, capture the base mode games, not domination when <laughs> that happens. And whatever, I'm not going to go into it. I think those are gone. The campaign overall looks a lot better. And by the way, here's a good... I was thinking strongly about using that reload boost, but Gnizen, I was so low on, I thought there were other people on my team shooting that... Might have been a waste there, but that was a potential. Um, but anyway, getting back to the campaign, looks very doable, and I think it might be a combo if they recognize the holidays are going on for people so they don't necessarily have as much time to grind, but I think they're also incorporating the feedback about certain missions being just an absolute pain in the rear. I've complained to them, <laughs> you know. I've, I've done my part, but I know you guys have too, so I think they, the missions should be better going forward. And anyway, this campaign looks pretty good, so I think uh, if you got the time to grind for the ship, I think it's going to be worth it. Richelieu, it's beginning to be widely recognized as one of the strongest Tier 7 battleships. I keep seeing people say it's kind of un dethroned the Iowa in that regard. I'm, I haven't gotten there quite yet, um, but it's, it's very strong for sure. And John Bart, like I say... For the most part, the stats are pretty close. Uh, where they deviate, they seem to deviate in better. You know, the gap seems to be bigger in favor of the Jean Bart as opposed to the little tiny things that go in the favor of the Richelieu over the Jean Bart. So, very strong. We haven't talked a whole lot about the reload boost here, and I don't think <laughs> the examples in this game might have been that good, but. It is a very strong tool, and it's you can look for opportunities. If you get a battleship that you see is going to be broadside, he's going to be stuck broadside, and you got time to whale two, two and a half, three reloads, whatever it is that you can get off, um, that's potentially fatal. You know, you can get those battleships removed quickly. And I think Gwei Prat, uh, with that, the reload's already really good on the Jean Bart with my uh, level 11 JoJo build. I think the Gwei Prot with the the Brawler and the Megalomania in Tier 3, you know, if you're going for a Reload Brawler build on that, which is what I'm extremely interested in trying out, I think you can get the Reload down very low to begin with. Then you throw the Reload Boost on top of that, you might be able to get three cycles out. So I'm interested to try that out. And again, we'll be checking, we'll be doing a deep dive in the Sean Bart once we get that Gwei Prot up and running. Those of you that do have him level 16, um, I understand when I release this video, most of you will still be dr grinding out the campaign, but, you know, keep me posted going forward with um, how that build's working for you when you do get the John Bart, or if you're using it on the Richelieu or Dunkirk or however you're using it, because I think Gwei Prod looks to be very strong. So here we're trying to attempt to blind fire. What you want to do when you're looking at these, see where the trailers emanate from, but keep in mind that if you're looking at that ship that's on the screen, the Iowa in the background, if it shot, it would the guns would be you know a, a ways up from the waterline. And generally, when you're aiming at ships, you want to be shooting you know at the waterline or close there too. But when you're trying to blind fire shots, you know keep in mind they're emanating from where the guns actually are. So you usually want to aim down you know, a little bit more than you might think you are. It feels unnatural at first, but something to practice. I've been advocating people to, you know, if you're not used to trying to blind fire people, 
just start practicing it. It's something that takes a lot of skill. It's something I personally need to keep working on, so there's plenty of room for most players to improve it. But once you get that down, that connects. It's a devastating skill to have because people that think they're safe in the smoke, if they see that you're able to hit them with a blind fire, number one, it announces yourself as a really good player, and those players that are smart enough to recognize that will usually turn and flee, but even if they don't recognize it, just having that skill will allow you to absolutely just beat up on people that would otherwise be safe. So definitely practice that. So Jean Bart, very strong. If it's going to be your first ship that has all the guns in the front, you know, right now we have the Richelieu and the Dunkirk, two other French battleships. But if, if you're new to this type of ship, you know, basically it's extremely well armored in the front. So if you're pointing your nose at what's shooting at you, you're going to withstand a lot of damage. Very kind of weakly armored on the side, so you need to be careful when you're moving around, and you need to have some pretty good map awareness with this type of ship, so people aren't able to sneak up on the side of your flank and start pelting you with shots that you might not um, be in a position to avoid once you find yourself in that crossfire. But if you can posi position yourself well in this type of ship, uh, you can kind of just pin down an area and you become very tough to dislodge in um, these French forward facing battleships like this. So another very strong ship. I think I agree with the people that think Richelieu is very strong. Uh, it's quickly become one of my favorite ships. Downsides the Jean Bart, I'm not really seeing any, to be honest with you. I mean, the uh, I guess the Richelieu might be a little bit uh, more maneuverable, but this is maneuverable enough um, and you know the differences in the well the health and having the reload boost are just very strong so you know pretty kick-ass ship to be honest with you um, those of you who are might be on the fence about grinding this out again I think the campaigns pretty reasonable this time around and I think this is gonna be a ship that you're probably going to regret not taking the time to grind it out if it's something that you have the time to do. If not, then maybe it'll show up as a free XP ship down the line. Uh, I kind of like the Terps dead. So that's going to do it here for this early look at the Jean Bart. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. New to the channel, consider subscribing. A lot of World of Warships coming all the time. Questions, comments, leave them below. Love to hear from you, and we'll see you later. Peace.